Hello Internet! Thank you for checking out my channel. In this video, I'm going to cover a little bit about my personal interests as well as kind of what you can expect coming out of this channel. So without further ado, let's get into it. At first, when I first started making this video, I thought, oh, this should be relatively simple. I'll just list my interests and uh, draw up a little bit about the degrees I earned in college and some courses I took and uh, what I do and what this channel is going to be about. Um, and then I realized that I do lots of different things. Yeah, that many. <laughs> uh, it's not exactly as simple as it sounds. So uh, without getting too deep into all of the different things that I do, basically my interests involve uh, around a lot of different things. Um, how I make my money is tutoring uh, via the internet. Check out my website at www.tutoringbyroger.com if you're interested in that. Uh, basically, I tutor math and programming. Math is my uh, bread and butter, so to speak. But I'm certainly happy to tutor you in programming as well. Uh, let's see. So the other things that I'm interested in, I do a lot of tinkering. I do a lot of different tinkering with a lot of different things. Really, a, most of this stuff could be put under the tinkering uh, branch here. But basically, I like to tinker with uh, different stuff. I've done projects, lots of projects involving woodworking. My dad was a carpenter, uh, built houses and stuff, so that's I do a lot of that. I do a lot of uh, building stuff. Uh, I, <laughs> this was a big project. We preserved, or basically digitized, uh, 14,800 plus photos that were sitting around waiting for a house fire. We digitized those, my, my mother and I, so that was pretty cool. I've gotten into electronics. Uh, I really enjoy soldering um, because it's a challenging thing to get right. Um, I like things that aren't easy because, all, in my view, most of the uh, low-hanging fruit has already been picked, so to speak. I'm also dabbling in alternative building, uh, alternative building methods um, and materials specifically. Um, so you can expect some videos to come out on that. Computer programming and just computers generally, um, I've done a whole bunch of different things uh, centered around information tech and computers and whatnot. Obviously, I can tutor programming. I've taken several programming classes, as you'll see later. I've written different uh, computer programs. I've, one of the main programs that I published, which I'm currently using, uh, is Roger's Math Whiteboard. As you can see up here, Roger's Math Whiteboard. That's literally this program. Is basically, it's a program to help math teachers do math and explain it. So anyway, uh, I also have made a whole bunch of different scripts uh, for video editing and for, tu for my tutoring website to make that work. Uh, for using touchscreens on Linux, that's a different thing I've played around with. And for 3D printing, etc., I've also experimented with different touch screens, so like physical touch screens. I've bought a whole bunch of different ones and tried them all out and see which, uh, try to figure out which one was best for doing, uh, for teaching math and such. Uh, I've also made a screen sharing helper. I've made an endless video player out of a Raspberry Pi, which is a pretty cool project because my mother doesn't particularly like uh, technology generally speaking and. Uh, with having a Raspberry Pi plugged into the TV, she can just uh, go to a particular HDMI port using the remote and just get a random video. So that was kind of cool. Uh, yeah, best touchscreens for math. That has a lot to do with best pen for math. Um, so those two are pretty related. Um, let's see. 3D printing, yes. I've been lately doing a whole bunch of different 3D printing. Somebody gave me a partially finished 3D printer, or well, partially working 3D printer, and I kind of restored it, so to speak. Uh, so that's been a lot of fun. I've uh, delved into like what equipment do you need to print a particular plastic. I've learned a lot, a lot about hot ends and uh, the good, you know, the, the lower quality, less expensive hot ends versus the more expensive hot ends, and 
why you would need a more expensive hot end to do a certain thing. Uh, what software is necessary? I've learned how to use CAD, a program called FreeCAD, which is a fantastic little CAD program. Learned about different plastics. <laughs> That's a whole world into of itself right there, different plastics. Um, I'm also into off-grid solar. I uh, have set up my own off-grid solar uh, setup to run a little bit of a fridge in my little room here, uh, so I enjoy that. Uh, I've also, in, in the context of that, I've delved into measuring electricity usage, different batteries and battery types, the different connectors. Uh, that's been a big issue because a 12 volt system, you would typically see that used in like a car or something, and the connectors for that are cigarette lighter plugs, <laughs> and they're pretty terrible. <laughs> So I've come up with a, with a different connector for that. I think it's the uh, name of it is actually Anderson connectors are pretty good. Uh, I've also learned about wiring losses. And so if you have a long wire, you'll have a particular amount of loss for a low voltage type system. Um, batteries and temperature. Yeah, how to, how to keep batteries from freezing or getting too hot. That's something I'm kind of always thinking about. Using less electricity, I've definitely learned how to do that. Because um, on a solar system, you really don't have a lot of electricity, and it's very expensive. So I want to. I've always been op trying to optimize what I use to make it as little as possible. I've also been uh, kind of synthesizing all of these different ideas. So in these particular options down here are these projects that I've finished all involve using multiple different uh, skills that I have. So I've made some external monitors, uh, one of which I'm actually looking at right now, that used both my woodworking skills to create the kind of the box around it, and then 3D printing skills to create kind of the cover for it. So that came out really cool. Um, but again, it uses both of my skills. You use my woodworking skills and my 3D printing skills I uh, also made a microphone mount, which is literally holding the microphone that you're hearing me through right now. <laughs> Again, I used uh, both woodworking skills there and uh, 3D printing skills there. And just basically making a 3D printer work. That's going to use a lot of my computer programming skills and a lot of my physical, like, tinkering, pulling wires, soldering, rewiring, rerouting wires putting things together, fixing things, etc. Um, so that used a lot of my different skills. So anyway, moving on here, let's... Oh, so yeah, I have earned some degrees in college. Uh, this is my uh, associate's degree in business administration. And then I also earned a bachelor's degree in technology management from Northern Arizona. I think this was earned in 2016. Uh, I can't really read the words on there, but yeah, it was 2016. Um, so, as I mentioned, I am a math tutor and a computer programming tutor. So here are some of the courses that I have taken, both in math and uh, computer programming and other related IT type uh, courses that I've taken. So, um, what can you expect out of this channel? Basically, I'm going to be publishing a bunch of uh, math videos from OpenStax, which if you haven't heard of OpenStax, by the way, they're a pretty sweet organization. They're basically giving away free textbooks to the entire world. <laughs> um, and they're freely downloadable, and they're really, really nice. So check them out if you haven't already, OpenStax.org. Stax is spelled with an X, all one word. Um, you can also expect some programming videos, uh, some 3D printing videos, some random projects videos, and probably a bunch of other random related videos that I think of after I finish this video and post it, because I can never quite be assured that I won't come up with something new <laughs> in the future. I'm sure I will, and if I do, you'll probably see a video about it. Um, 
I can't promise any particular time frame as to when these videos come out because sometimes I'm busy, sometimes I'm not busy, depends on how busy I get with tutoring. Um, it just kind of depends. Uh, I may have free time. If I have free time, I'll try and make a video about stuff. Um, otherwise, I won't be able to. But anyway, uh, that kind of gives you an idea of what kind of content uh, I will be publishing. Um, as for Oh, another thing regarding the math video specifically, I plan to uh, have the titles of those math videos consistent regarding which textbook they came from, which section they came from, which problem they came from, etc. So I'm going to use this. I'm going to use a, a a consistent format with the titles. So if you ever want to search my channel for uh, a specific for all the math videos that I did out of a specific textbook, you should be able to do that by just searching my channel. Because um, I know YouTube sometimes isn't the greatest with organizing that kind of thing. So anyway, I think that is all um, for this video. And thank you again for watching. I hope you enjoy my content. If you do, please like and subscribe. And if you want notifications, don't forget to hit the bell. Thanks again for watching and have a great rest of your day.